In about 48 hours, we could see the first snowstorm of the season. Yes, and we're hoping for the best that that moves away. <laughs> the forecast could send people into a winter frenzy, rushing to the grocery stores to get all of those supplies. And CBS 17's Birchelle Ed May found that frenzy can be a bit more serious, something local researchers are studying. Birchelle, and you are in a store right now. I am because guess what? The customers didn't take that plea to come and shop with me. So I did the shopping myself and I got some of the essential items. So before we talk about that fear, let's talk about these supplies here. Bread always goes fast. I'm here with Lloyd at the Food Lion. Good morning to you, Lloyd. So tell me of these, which one makes the cut? Because you know you have a lot to choose well, from. Well, here it is. It's it's your white bread. That's your that's your number one seller that it will sell out first and um, then it moves into all the wheats and the grains and um, it, uh, by the end of this snow scare, we, w we won't have any bread. So. <laughs> so you already know what the product supply looks Absolutely. like. But you know what? The sites you see on the road, that snow, the ice, whatever our forecasters kind of predict, it's what causes some of that fear, whether it be to panic and come and get some of the groceries or as well something that's a bit deeper. It's known as Chinophobia. And we spoke to one local researcher who told us, you know, some people have physical and mental reactions from hearing about forecasts. So we went to Duke University to talk a little bit more about this and hear what exactly you can do to prevent any kind of panic. Some people recognize that it's an irrational fear. Others, um, they don't recognize how irrational their fear is, so they'll go into survival mode. Ask yourself how much it impacts your life and whether or not you change your um, behavior in response to the snow. So there you go. That is the advice from Doc. He says, ask yourself whether or not you really need to panic. I still got a few more things in my cart here, the essentials, got some milk and the rest. So Lloyd and company here at Food Lion are going to help me shop. So stick around. We'll be back and coming up in just about 30 minutes. For now, reporting live, I'm Beershell Edmay with CBS 17 News.